everyone, Alicia here with another Weight Watcher friendly recipe. And today that is gonna be for my favorite banana bread, or at least that's what I'm gonna be calling it because through the years, this has definitely become my favorite Weight Watcher friendly banana bread. I've tried a ton of different banana bread recipes through the years, came up with some of my own. And this is the one though that I always seem to come back to when I wanna make banana bread. I'll try different ones here and there, but this is the one I use the most. It's kind of my go-to just because it's so simple, delicious, and more of just kind of a classic banana bread, just lightened up. Now this originated from a Weight Watcher recipe on their app for, I believe it's called banana cupcakes with Nutella frosting. I actually did a video on that on my channel. And while those are really good, I kind of prefer the simpler concept of just doing a loaf of banana bread instead of the individual muffins. And so that's kind of how this evolved and became the main way that I do this now. It's just, again, a classic, simple banana bread. And that's a lot of the times all I want is just classic and simple when it comes to banana bread. But I'll make sure to link some of the other ones I have done because a lot of those are good. But again, if you're looking for something more classic, simple, this is my favorite of all the different ones that I've done through the years. So since I was making this anyway, I thought I'd turn on the camera, show you guys how I do this and how easy it is. But let me go over the ingredients first. So first off, I've got three very ripe bananas here. I would say they're medium to large size. Um, the original recipe only calls for two. I like to add an extra just for a little more banana flavor and a little extra moisture. You could use two though if you want, because again, that's what the original recipe calls for and that works as well. I just like adding a third. So next up, I've got some Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. This is a change as well. The original calls for regular sugar, but now I use the Lakanto because I really enjoy this, which is funny for me to say because I've never been a fan of the artificial sweeteners, but I really do like the Lakanto Classic and their Golden. I think both of those are really good for baking and whatever. So I'm gonna be using a half cup of this. And then back here, I've got some flour. I'm gonna be using a cup of that one large egg, a teaspoon vanilla, a teaspoon coconut oil, half teaspoon baking powder, teaspoon baking soda, and a half teaspoon salt. And then finally, I'm gonna be using a half cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. And then actually also I've got some cooking spray here for my pan so my bread doesn't stick. But that is it, let me get this started. So first off, in a medium sized bowl here, I'm going to add in my one cup flour and I've got my oven preheating right now to 350. My teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon baking powder, and half teaspoon salt. And then I'm gonna just get this all mixed together really well. Okay, now I'm gonna set this aside and work on the rest of it. In my stand mixer here, I'm gonna just take my bananas, toss those in there, if you want to do this by hand, you absolutely could. And you would want to just add your bananas in and mash them up. I like using the stand mixer to just kind of do the work for me. So I'm going to throw my bananas in and I'm going to go ahead and just mix those until they're nice and mashed up. I've got those pretty well mashed up. So now I'm going to add in my egg half cup Lakanto, and I do want to point out if you want to use regular sugar in this you absolutely can that does up the points per serving by two though and this is only a point a serving when you use the sugar substitute or no calorie sweetener my half cup fat free plain Greek yogurt my teaspoon coconut oil and I just melted that in the microwave for about 20 seconds and then my teaspoon of vanilla. And now I'm gonna just mix all of that together really well. That looks good. So now I'm gonna take my bowl off and then fold in my dry ingredients. I'm 
Okay, that's good. And I just basically folded that or kind of stirred it just until it was combined. So now I'm gonna pour this in my bread pan. I've got a little silicone pan here. I like to use these most of the time now because they work pretty well as far as your bread coming out of them, but I still like to spray them with a little bit of cooking spray just to ensure that that comes out nicely. So I'm gonna pour my batter in. Here is how it's looking after almost 40 minutes. It's like 38, 39 minutes. So now I'm gonna let it cool a little bit before I take it out of the pan. All right, I let this cool for about 15 minutes or so. Cut into it. Hopefully you can see what it looks like in there. Yeah. It's nice and moist. My hubby's behind the camera right now. Try to make sure we get a good shot. You see in there? Yeah. It smells delicious, correct? Yeah. I yeah. just came home and it smells really good. Yeah, we love this one. And this is only, so I cut this into 12 slices and this is only a point a serving, which I think is really good, don't you? No, oh, absolutely. For as good as this tastes. Now, if you want to use regular sugar like I used to, that bumps it up to four points a serving. So using a sugar-free or calorie-free alternative in this does make a big difference. And that Lakanto is really good stuff. I honestly can't really tell a big difference between that and sugar. But anyway, that is it. It's kind of our favorite classic or what do you, I don't know, plain. It's not, it's just your basic, yeah. Basic banana bread, but very, very good. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you as always for watching and we will see you on the next one.